Hello everyone, how's it going? So today what I got for you guys is just a bunch of airdrop news and there actually is a lot of airdrops that have airdropped in the past couple days. So let's just get right into it. So first thing is NIM Network. Now you had to have claimed this before if you were a Dimension staker and if you have, then it'll automatically get sent to your wallet. If you wanna check if you were eligible, then you go to this link here and you paste your address in. As you can see, my final allocation was only 35, so pretty low. And also, you did get about a 20% increase on the people that did not, um, what's it called, uh, claim their NIM network airdrop, so that's a nice little bonus there. Um, another thing we got here is the Drift airdrop. Now this one actually turned out to be like pretty decent trading the claim isn't available yet but you can check your allocation here now how to do that is you just copy and paste your solana address right into here so there's like no connecting or anything and as you can see here your total allocation will be set here and now this is very interesting because they have a six hour bonus right so i have my total allocation here and then I have my initial and then the six hour bonus now what this is is basically if you claim the token when the claim begins I'll let you guys know when it does but when it when the claim begins if you claim your drift in the first six hours then you're only gonna get this initial amount but if you wait the bonus six hours then you're literally gonna get double of what your initial allocation will be now this is not financial advice, but personally, I'm obviously gonna wait the six hours because it doubles my total allocation. And for it to be worth um, claiming your allocation right away, then the price will essentially have to go down more than 50% in order, which could definitely happen because we've seen a lot of these airdrops absolutely dump recently. But the price would have to go down 50% for you at least 50% for you to mitigate this claim and it to be more cost effective to claim right away. So personally, I'm just going to wait. I think the claim is in the next couple of days, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. So, and as you can see here, what if you claim early and it'll show you exactly and it'll just be forfeited and it gets returned to the DAO so no so basically no one ends up getting these tokens it's not like it's being redistributed or anything so oh shows you yeah uh, claim will go live they'll update it so more information on that later another one is Camino did airdrop now this one turned out to be kind of mm, for a lot of people as you can see only for me I think I had like a hundred thousand points or something like that and only 91 Camino. And as you could see here, let's uh, go in my Phantom wallet. Uh, yeah, that's that's a grand total of $4. So at least we could get like a McChicken out of that or two. No, actually one. So, so I mean, that was pretty much a stinker airdrop. I really didn't. Um, I think I made a video on this. I'm not 100% sure. But I did make a video on Drift. And Drift did seem to pay out pretty decently compared to a lot of these airdrops that we're about to see especially like renzo so next thing renzo somehow i'm not even eligible for it but this was a completely linear airdrop um and you just go to this claim page to see if you're eligible for it you had to be uh i believe holding easy res and i know that they had like some issue where it actually depegged so like their easy res depegged from or easy eth sorry depegged from ethereum and it caused a lot of people to get liquidated if they were like looping their points to get more points thankfully that didn't happen to me as i only leveraged my points 2x so it wasn't too bad but if you guys are eligible then definitely look into this another one is eigenlayer now I can't even access the page because I'm not even in the U.S. or I am in the U.S. and they block like more than half the countries on earth from even claiming, which is outrageous. If I find a fix for that, um, I'll definitely leave it in the description, but I just believe it was like kind of scummy that they let you deposit money anywhere in the world, but then they only let you claim in certain parts of the world. 
And also their tokenomics were really meh. Like Drift, for example, was like 12% to um, the community, whereas like Eigenlayer was definitely a lot less and a lot of the tokens went to VCs and other holders. But another thing we have here is um, on Galaxy, there are a couple more orderly quests that are available to you. So let's just go here on orderly network because we are farming this. I did make a previous video on this, my most recent video. And as you can see here, these two quests are available. Um, this one is actually really worth it because you just deposit some money into this trading platform, IBX, I believe, or LogX, sorry. And you make one trade and boom, done t free 200 uh, loyalty points. As you can see, it's building up here on the side, pretty high up there. Other thing, we have the orderly and ondo listing campaign, and I believe you need to get like 50,000 in volume. So this one isn't as worth for 10 points, but you do get an NFT, and that NFT might be like a criteria or multiplier or something for the orderly airdrop. And they did say that all Galaxy um, participants will be rewarded. They said that on their Twitter and in their docs. And also there's another one right here. This was the IBX one, sorry where you need to get 15,000 in volume and you get 200 points and an NFT. So that one's actually really easy because I just threw in a couple hundred bucks in there, made one trade, um, can't, and then closed the trade and then got my 200 points really easily. So uh, after that, I mean, we're just farming this to see, I believe the orderly airdrop is happening at the end of their orderly merits campaign. So that shouldn't be too much longer. I believe that's like six more weeks. So like a month and a half or five more weeks, five or six more weeks. So like a month and a half. Uh, last thing I got for you guys today is Jumper. If you've been using Jumper, also made a video on this. And um, they updated their XP levels today. So previously I had like 370, I believe. And it just updated. So that's nice. And they also do have a whitelist raffle here for genome i don't actually know what it is but i did sign up for it because like might as well right and also on Mer merkel you could mint your dynamic pfp personally i would do that because it's tied in with jumper so if you mint this nft you never know it could be a little multiplier or something for uh jumper airdrop in the future so that's really the last thing to look out for and um I mean, that's pretty much it, but I want to give like some final notes because um, I've been seeing, uh, obviously the markets are really red if you pay attention to the markets like uh, pretty often. Let's just go on trading view to see here. Um, markets are pretty red. Airdrop farming doesn't look that good because a lot of these um, they, like liquidity providers and um, whatnot airdropped and obviously they're not good and i think the reason that is is because things like camino renzo eigenlayer stuff like that all of those airdrops are really low friction right all you have to do is put some money in and that's it that that's literally all you have to do so it's the barrier to entry for a lot of people is uh, well the barrier to entry is super low right so it's like it gets really diluted and people are getting frustrated about these airdrops. That's, that's why I call them airdrops. That's why I don't really participate in them too much. Like for example, Renzo completely faded that. I Well, I didn't fade completely Renzo, but for some reason I didn't get any, but Eigenlayer also faded that. Camino, I wish I faded it, but it's whatever. So my main point here though is, um, it looks like the airdrops that are like really easy to get into, like just providing liquidity or just doing little tiny things aren't going to be really worth it unless you have a lot of capital, right? But I believe the ones with high friction, like say, for example, the wormhole airdrop, it was high friction because you needed like two wallets. You needed a bridge over a lot or a good amount in order to qualify. I believe those airdrops will still be good and profitable especially compared to these liquidity airdrops because it just it's a lot harder to do and people are lazy as hell i mean like pe most people aren't gonna spam a bunch of transactions so i believe those tra those transaction airdrops um where the more transactions you do like 
in my opinion, hyperlane. Still got to make a video on that, but I will. As you can see, guys, markets are not looking good. The whole timeline on um, what's it called on CT is very bearish. Personally, I like that because I got uh, I picked up a lot of uh, a lot of coins I liked in this low area. As you can see, BTC is under 57k, and I mean, just what like in the past. Here, let's reset the chart here. Let's go on the daily. Um, as you can see here, I mean, we touched what 70, almost 74,000, and now we're back down to what 57,000. So, I mean, that's that's a 20% correction right there. But one thing you do have to be wary of is in bull markets, these corrections are really common. So, let's say, for example, right here, the 2020 bull market, this little correction right here, that's 15%, right? This correction from here to here. That's a 30%, right? Even this correction from up here, down here, another 30%. Even at the start of the bull market right here, that's another 20% correction. So these corrections are honestly really, are they're common in bull markets. So, I mean, I wouldn't be too worried. At least personally, I'm not worried, but obviously be careful, risk manage. You don't want to have all your money in crypto, obviously, unless you're a degenerate like me. But I mean... But yeah, that I mean, that's pretty much it for you guys. Like, like I said earlier, I believe airdrops are still going to be worth it. Sentiment is really down. And what I what I personally have learned in crypto, at least for being in it for like four years now, is that when everyone is saying one thing, doing the other is almost the best thing you can be doing so if everyone's bearish everyone's like saying on the timeline like oh yeah we're cooked like yeah we're going to 10k whatever we're going to 30k blah 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 it, the chances of that happening are very low obviously none of this is financial advice i'm only in college i'm literally in a dorm room still so i mean listen to me listen to me or listen to me or not it doesn't matter to me but i mean that's all but I mean, that's all I really got for today. So thank you guys all for um, watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave it below in the comments. I try to respond to every single comment that goes through. And appreciate you guys for watching and have a good one.